In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the 5 secret entrances that you can make. Most of them aren't survival friendly. But before we get into this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Only a small percentage of you do so. And let's get into it. So this is the first one right here. And as you can see, there's two main pillars right here. Now these pillars are essential. They're multi-use so you can do these many ways. But the first way I'm going to show you with these pillars is the channeling trident. Now as you can see there are armor stands with netherite and also there's a copper block under it. So what I'm going to do is make it rain real quick. So now that it's thundering we hit him just like so. It makes a loud noise and this will blow up. Just like so and you can walk in. Now there are a little bit of problems with this. First of all, you would need to have TNT, so it would need to be either an open space or with obsidian. But you can replace this with like a piston door that activates or something like that. Now the next problem is obviously now you don't have any netherite armor because you just wasted it on the thunder. But that can be fixed without the thunder. And the last problem is that it uses a skulk sensor to detect when it's gotten hit. So anyways, let's go on to another one, something a lot more simpler. So for this next one, I'm pretty sure everyone who has played Minecraft has seen this. It's the painting door trick. Now as you can see, I just walked through that painting by going through a door that is hidden inside the wall. Now this trick is pretty obvious, but I decided to make a spin on it. So let's go over here. So for this one, you will need an elytra. Now this can not only be used as a door, but anywhere in your wall, because as a door, it might be a little bit suspicious. Now what you're gonna wanna do is put on the elytra just like so, walk up to the block that you know it's on and fly through it. Now it might take you a few attempts, but as you can see, you got in. And if you want, you can close it behind you so no one can come in. And then once you're ready to get out, you just do the same thing and you walk out. Just like you came out of nowhere. And if your friends try to get into the painting, they can't. So this, I think, is an insane way that you can do a hidden entrance. But let's go on to the next one. So for this secret entrance, let's say it's a 1.17 update and you want to make a secret entrance or a secret door so that your friend doesn't get in. So, as you can see, on the ground I have these little drip leaf plants. Now, if you go down it, it will obviously push you down. Now, most people, they would go back up. But if you stand on this one right here, and you just stay in it for the little amount of time, it will actually push you in, and you'll go into your secret hideout. And if you guys were wondering, these trap doors do not need to be here. I'm using them because it covers up this little space that you might see. So if you want to cover that space up, you can cover it up with trap doors and nobody would be the wiser. I would recommend you do this in a room with a bunch of water and leaves so that they don't get suspicious of a random leaf in the floor. Just remember to do that and everything should be fine. So let's go on to the next one. For this secret entrance, let's pretend you have an overgrown house or you have a tree nearby or just some block that leaves a too wide space just like so. Now you want to fill this shulker box up with just random junk so no one feels like taking it. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is dig a hole underneath it, walk under this block, and open it. And now you're in your secret base. Now this obviously can work with any block, it doesn't have to be leaves. As you can see, it works. So let's go on to our last one. For this last secret entrance, you can use a transparent block, a honey block, or even a normal block. Now all you need is an ender pearl and a block that's like this, where it's just a normal block and a no block under it. Now I put this in the range of easy to hardest. So the honey block is the easiest and the normal block will be the hardest. Now let me show you the honey first. As you can see, if you aim the ender pearl between these two little spots, you can actually get the ender pearl through, just like so. This can be useful because you can kind of aim your ender pearl and determine where you want to go. Now the transparent block. Now for these, you want to aim between the third and the second pixel. What you want to do is just kind of get up close, don't crouch, and aim it just like so. Now that you're in the block, you walk forward, and now you're in your secret base. For this last one, it's really hard to do, and I probably won't be able to do it, but I can give it a try. 
you want to basically just do the same thing, but this one pushes you out a lot more. So you want to go up close and start walking into it, and maybe even use multiple ender pearls. Now you'd probably want armor or some way of healing yourself if you're going to try that. So guys, that's the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, it helps me out a ton more than you'd think, and peace out!